Hello guys, in this video we will see how to create S3 bucket using Terraform. If you want to install Terraform on your Windows or Linux machine, then go to the link provided in the video description and install it. The steps involved in creating S3 bucket using Terraform are first we will create an IAM user, then we will configure profile on Windows. The process is same for Windows or Linux by using AWS CLI. The command is AWS configure. Then we will create TF file that is Terraform file. Then we will provide the script to create S3 bucket. Okay. Then we will verify S3 bucket is created or not. So first step is create user. Go to AWS console. Then click on services. Then search for IAM. Click on IAM. Click on users. Click on create user. Then provide username. Click on next. At present, I am not attaching any policies. But we can attach policies like S3. We can create S3 full access. But I am not going to create. I will show you what happens if you don't attach policies for this user. Click on next. If you want to provide any tags. Otherwise, click on create user. We have successfully created user. Then click on username. We must have access key and secret key to configure AWS CLI on your machine. Open command prompt or PowerShell on Windows or in Ubuntu or Linux machines. Open terminal. The process is same for command prompt or terminal. Open PowerShell. AWS configure. See, now it is asking access key. So, we can create access key. Select the command line interface. Select the checkbox. That is, I understand the above recommendation and want to proceed to create an access key. Then click on next. If you want to provide description tag, we can provide. Otherwise, click on create access key. Copy this one. Go to PowerShell or terminal. Paste it. And hit enter. Then, secret access key. Copy it, hit enter, default rename. I am going with same US East 1, so no need to provide. If you want to change, you have to provide, otherwise hit enter, format is also same. If you are unable to see JSON, you have to give JSON and hit enter. We have configured, okay, control it to click. Now verify, AWS, AWS profile is configured or not by running AWS configure list. See, we have configured AWS profile. I assume you have already installed Terraform. So now open any editor. In my case, I have installed VS Code. If you want to install VS Code, then go to the link provided in the video description and install it. VS Code is free, so you can download and install. Now open VS Code or any editor. Maximize this one. File. Open folder. Create a directory S3 Terraform. Open it. Now create a file S3.tf. See, the extension must be tf. If you give tf, see, we got the Terraform icon or logo and hit enter. Now we have to provide the Terraform block. Provider block and resource block. See, this is Terraform block. And this is the version of my Terraform. We can verify the version. Open terminal Terraform version. See, the version of Terraform is this one. We can also verify in the command printer CMD by running Terraform version. See. We have installed Terraform 1.5.7. Okay, this is the Terraform block and this is the provider block. Terraform block, you must have given the this Terraform version. You can get the Terraform version as I told you by running here. Okay, next required providers. So our cloud provider is AWS. So we have to give the source as Ashikop AWS and its version is. The latest one, the version at present is this. You can get this required providers information 
in the hashicorp documentation so go to this go to the any browser and search for required provider at terraform aws so click on this aws provider see this is the information so you can simply copy see the present version of this aws provider is this one you can right click and copy and replace here standard way is aws but it can be like my aws or anything okay next provider see here provider is this is the provider name so region is i'm going with eu central one and profile is default which means the profile which we have configured okay next resource details so see i just pasted the resource details see this is the resource name this is the reference for local and bucket name here bucket name i am giving bucket name as but the bucket name should be unique across the aws accounts okay again i am repeating see this is the terraform block here we have provided the required provider information provider means it's like azure or aws or gcp or any other providers provider configuration information see we have provided the region and profile information then resource that needs to be created in aws so this is the command which must be there and this can be anything bucket equals to it is must and the name should be unique across aws okay now save this file i will keep all these comments in the video description but whenever you are going to create a three bucket by using terraform we have to replace this bucket name after creating script now we have to run terraform in it this can be run on windows command prompt or power seller terminal not only from vs code it enter it will download the required plugins for aws provider this may take time wait until this plugins download see terraform has been successfully initiated see also here it has created two files what one is terraform.lat.hcl and dot terraform clear now we have to validate the this script is there any like is there any syntax error or anything we are missing if we miss something it will throw error so run terraform validate success configuration is valid now go to s3 services s3 we don't have any buckets now run terraform plan terraform plan it will do the what this script is going to do like it is going to create or modify or delete any aws resources hit enter see plan want to add so what it is going to add see it is going to add resource this one okay and the bucket name is this is and this will be known after once we done we have created this supply okay now clear it now now we are going to execute the this terraform apply hit enter for confirmation you have to do s and hit enter see we got the access denied error it is expected as i told you we will come back at the time of creating iam user so go to iam click on users click on user we have to attach the policies so such for s3 i am giving s3 full access based on requirement you can give for this demo purpose i am giving this full access then click on next click on add permissions wait a moment and go back 
and run again same command that is terraform apply it is taking time so i am cancelling this one i am changing the region that is us east hyphen one save the file clear terraform validate it is success now run terraform apply generally it won't take much time but i don't know why for that reason it took that much time Hit enter type sn hit enter See, this successfully created. Apply complete resource one resources one hundred zero change and zero destroyed. Now go to S three buckets such S three. We can S three. See new bucket is created. So in this video we have seen how to create S three bucket using Terraform. For more Terraform or AWS or DevOps videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.